lived and I'm so glad that you joined. Oh, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Can you see me okay? I know, I'm going to light my candle so that you can see me and my face. <laughs> here we go. We'll add a bit more light to the room. How does that sound? There we go. Ah, oh, that's better. Can you see me now? We added some extra light, didn't we? And did you know that today we are talking all about light? So I want you to have your listening ears on for all the things you can hear about light. I want you to have your eyes wide open for all the things you can see about light, all the light you can see. And I want you to be having a think about who might be the light in our lives. <laughs> you know, before we hear more about that from our friend Pete, we're going to go see our friend Lucy at home because she's been doing some baking. And a very, very special type of baking. Let's go see what she's made. Hey kids, it's Lucy here. Today we're going to be doing some fun baking together. We're going to be cooking some stained glass cookies. Do you like cookies? I love cookies. We have our ingredients all laid out and my special mixer here ready for baking. We have our flour, our vanilla, our sugar, our eggs, and our butter, and my secret ingredient, my lollipops, which we'll be doing something with them just a little bit later. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our sugar into the bowl, along with our butter, and a squeeze of our vanilla paste. And now it's time to do my favorite, the mixer dance. Next, we're gonna add our eggs into the mixture and make sure it's all mixed together well. That's one. And here's number two. Now we're going to add our flour one spoonful at a time until it resembles like Play-Doh consistency. And the rest of the flour. In it goes. And now we're going to bring back our lollipops, which I'm going to do something really cool with. Do you like lollipops? I love lollipops. And today we've got two whole bags. One bag of grape flavor and one of strawberry flavor. We're going to get a rolling pin and we're going to start smashing the lollipops until they are all broken apart. Now that our dough is all mixed up and we've crushed up all our lollipops, we're going to cut some shapes out of our dough. And today we're going to be cutting some stars and some light bulbs because the Bible says that God's word will always light our way. Let's get started. It's a bit like Play-Doh. Now we're going to cut some shapes. Here's our star, and another one, and another one. So we're gonna put them on the tray, and then we're gonna cut out the middle so that the lollies can rest inside. See, cut. Oh no, he's a bit bent out of shape. That's okay, we can reform him. 
Maybe you can get your mum and dad to help you make some of these at home today. And the last one. Ah, oh, look. Bright, shiny stars. They're going to be so delicious. Now we're going to sprinkle some of our lollies in so that when it comes out of the oven, it'll be really pretty. And the lollies will fill the hole and it'll be all pink on the inside. Now they're ready to bake. Now our light bulbs and our stars are all ready for the oven. What will happen when they're in the oven is the lollies will melt and, be and become like a sheet so you can see through it. And now our cookies are all finished. And when I shine the torch through the back, look, you can see the light. And that light reminds us that God is always there through us, for us. No matter what's going on, if you're sad, if you're happy, and that he always knows what's going to happen next. All right, bye kids. Mm. Wow, weren't they amazing cookies from Lucy? And did you hear what she said about light? Well, remember that because we're just about to hear more about light and who could be the light in our lives? And what does that mean? Well, we're going to hear more from Pete very soon. But before we do that, we're about to go on a bit of an adventure. Would you like to join us on our adventure? Great. I'm going to go get my torch ready because this adventure is going to be walking through a really dark place. Are you ready? All right, get your torch and let's go together. Okay, here we are on our adventure. We've found the path that we need to walk on and I've got my torch, which is great news because it lights up my feet. Can you see my feet? So that I know where I'm walking and so that I don't walk off the path. But I can know where I'm walking because the light lights up my feet. And it also lights up the path ahead so that I know what's coming and where to go next. <gasps> A tunnel. Should we go through the tunnel? All right, let's go. We're coming through the tunnel. Following through the tunnel. our torch and we came out through the dark dark tunnel <laughs> well done everyone we're gonna go see our friend Pete now who's gonna tell us more about light and share with us from the Bible so we'll see you very soon hello everybody my name is Peter and I'm really, really excited to be able to share with you something that is really, really precious to me. And it's what's in this book. Does anybody know what this book is? Yep, most of you are right. It is the Bible. Some people call this the Word because it is full of God's words that show us the right path to take. It shows us what's right and what's wrong and what to say and what not to say and how much God really does love us. It's just wonderful. In a way, it's a little bit like a light that shows us the way. It's a bit like this light here. With it off, you can't see me. With it on, you do, and you see all the things around the room. You'll also see, for instance, this bucket that's above my head that somebody thought would be really, really funny to fill with ice water. But the light's on. I know there's a bucket above my head, so really, I've come prepared. I've come prepared because the light's on, so I don't get wet. It's a little bit big, so I might just put that aside for now. And maybe just move across a little bit. In the Bible, 
There's one of my favourite verses. It's in the book of Psalm, which is a book in the Bible. And it says, The word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Can we all say that together and maybe do the actions together? That helps us to remember it when we do the actions as well. So are you ready? Okay. Your word, open your hands like a book, is a lamp to my feet, point to your feet, and a light to my path. Can we do it again? All right. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Very good. Well done. That's a job well done. Oh, hang on a minute. Light's just gone out. Wait a minute. <clears throat> I'll see what I can do about finding this light. Oh, dear. Oh, whoa. Ow. Oh, oh, I'll be right with you. It's going to find this light. Oh, there it is. Hello again. Sorry about that. I sort of lost my way because the light went out. But it's okay. I'm okay, all right? Sometimes in life, you get a few bumps on the head. You might get a few scrapes on the knee. Sometimes things make you a little bit sad. But you know what? If you read the Word of God, you'll always know that God is always on your side. Okay? He's always on your side. You never, never need to feel alone. You never, never, never need to feel like you're lost because He'll always show you the right way to go. Alright? Isn't He awesome? Isn't His Word great? Thank you guys for listening to me. It's really been nice talking and I hope to see you really, really soon. Love you all. Bye-bye. How great was it to hear from Pete? Now, have you got your craft things ready? Because we are going to make something that will remind us about what we heard today. All right, so I hope you were able to get your very own toilet roll, a patty pan, and some colourful tissue paper because they're all going to help us make our craft today. So first I am going to get my patty pen and I am going to get my toilet roll and a few pieces of sticky tape and I'm going to stick that one on the top like that. What do you think we're making? Oh, let's have a look. So I'm going to put some sticky tape on the side there stick it on and I'm going to put another piece on the other side as well. There we go. Can you see that there? All right, now I'm going to get my colourful tissue paper. I'm going to start with my yellow one and I'm going to put a little bit of glue right in the middle of my tissue paper. There we go. And I'm going to stick that to my patty pan. Oh, can you see? Alright, I'm going to do it with the orange one as well. Put some glue on the tissue paper. And stick it right in the middle. What do you think that kind of looks like? Oh. Alright, one more piece of tissue paper. Let's put some glue right in the middle there. And we're going to scrunch that one up right in the very centre. Because we've made a torch that you can see things with, just like we were using in our adventure before. I've also got this little sticky here that says, your word is a lamp. To my feet and a light to my path and that's out of the Bible in Psalm 119 verse 105. Now I'm going to stick that on there as well to remind me what Pete was talking about today that we can have hope because God lights up our path. His word we can have hope in his word that it will guide us and show us where we need to walk, show us what where not to go and show us where we should go. So I'm going to stick that on the side of my torch there. There we go. Now I can keep that 
right next to my bed or maybe I like to keep that where I play so that I can remember that God's word will guide me. It will tell me the things that I should do. It will tell me the things I shouldn't do. And it's all because God loves us. His light shows us the way. I hope you had lots of fun making your craft and we're going to sing a song now. So why don't you stand up to your feet and we can sing it together. You might have heard this song before, but this song is all about what we've been talking about today. That verse in the Bible, Psalm 119, 105. So let's sing it all together. Are you ready? Great. <laughs> Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Great job, everyone. Do you want to sing it again together, but a little bit faster? All right, let's go. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. What about really, really, really fast? Do you reckon you can sing it really, really, really fast? All right, let's sing it together. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. <laughs> Great job, everyone. It's been so fun seeing you today. Now, I want to say a huge thank you and a huge well done to everyone that sent us in a memory verse this month because we didn't quite make it to 40 points, but we were so impressed at how you guys learnt your memory verse that we are going to slime Ben anyway. So let's go see Ben at home with his family as he gets slimed. Okay, can I ask you guys what you're doing right what now? What are you doing, Levi? What um, are you doing, Levi? What are we um, making? We're making slimy. Uh-oh. Woohoo! It's nice and sloppy, Yay. Daddy. How's it going, buddy? Take your beanie off. Hey, hey guys. everybody! How you Welcome going? to our house. Yeah. My name's Ben. This is <gasps> Levi. This is Christy. And this is Ruby. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well done for your memory verses. Well done. Good effort for memorizing your memory verses. Uh, Christy, my wife, and Levi have been laughing like evil little minions all morning <laughs> because today Daddy's getting slime. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do is I'm going to sit down and then I'm going to, this is actually one of my worst nightmares, I actually don't want to do this, but because you guys have been so good at memorising your memory verses, I'm going to bite the bullet and get it done for the team, but I'm going to tell you I'm not going to enjoy it. <laughs> Alright, bud. Alright. Can you help, mummy? <sighs> <sighs> okay. Come, Levi. Are you ready? Are you ready, daddy? I'm not ready! <laughs> I'm not ready! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is actually the worst. This is so hilarious! Oh, it smells like slime and goo. <laughs> Ruby's face! Oh, it smells oh, like blood. There. There's a bit more in there. There's a bit more. Oh, this is the worst. Oh. No. Uh, time for a hug. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it. I got slimed. Well done for memorizing your Bible verses. Uh, I'm not sure if I should be thanking you or not. But here we are. I'm absolutely slimed. Hope you guys enjoyed that. How good's an outdoor shower? <laughs> oh, 
washing all the slime off. Oh, yum. <laughs> Well, wasn't that lots of icky, sticky, gooey fun? And well done to everyone who learnt their memory verse. We got to see Ben's slide, but you also got to learn how you can always have hope. That the God of hope can fool you with all joy and peace. So, I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.